Hi guys, Drewy8897 here. I was not planning to do a scam baiting video today, besides the one I did earlier of that like mystery scam lightly call that my wife received earlier today. But anyway, my uncle just called me and told me that an RS scammer has called my 13 year old cousin. So, whoever picks up after I play along is going to get really fucked up. Bear in mind, as usual, as I always say this, if you have kids in the room, get them out before viewing this video. Because I'm not going to be responsible for teaching your kids how to swear. Anyway, number is the number that called him was 315-201-5028. Well, let's get to it, guys. Okay, Faria RTC is up. 315-201-5028. Here we go. I should have done a draw one beforehand. <laughs> Thank you for calling Internet Revenue Service. How may I help you? Uh, yes, I just got a call from y'all, and I have no re idea why the IRS called me. Okay, just tell me your name and your number on which you on which you received the message or a call so that I can cross check the purpose of the call you got or why did you receive such message or a call. Okay, do you need the name? Yes, your name so that I can check why did you receive the message or call. Yes, ma'am. It's Derek Blanchard. Okay. What is your first name? Derek. D-E-R-R-I-C-K. And your last name? Blanchard, B L A N C H A R D. And is this the same number on which you received the message? Yes, ma'am. Just stay on the line. I'll check and I'll definitely let you know the purpose of the call you got, okay? Okay. Hello? Yes, ma'am. You have received an intimation call and it is related to your non bailable arrest warrant to inform you that there is a non warrant against your name and that is due to tax evasion. I do my taxes every year. Why would I be getting a non available arrest warrant for tax evasion? So, first of all, tell me do you know the meaning of tax evasion? Uh, it's usually when someone doesn't pay their taxes on time? No, that's why I was asking you because you were telling me that you're filing your taxes every year. Yeah, tax which I do. Tax means this case is filed. Listen to me first. Yes, you do. I'm not denying the fact. Tax evasion is the case when the person is filing his or her cases regularly, but they are not paying the exact amount of taxes to the government what they are supposed to pay, which Can you say it again? You were cutting in and out. You cut in and out. I Before I proceed, first of all, tell me who is taking care of your taxes? You yourself, or do you have any public accounts? Uh, H and R Block does them. Let me inform you, the IRS has conducted this statutory audit on the tax filing from the year 2012 to 2016. And during this period, we had found many miscalculations in your tax paper, which means we were not receiving the exact amount in any of the year what you were supposed to pay. Well, fun, uh, funny that you should say, you should say 2016 because I filed the WD-40 form. You know, the blue and yellow one? The the slippery form? 
And I used that for my extension for this year. So I don't know why you would for say 2016. For how long are you filing your taxes with the For how long are you filing your taxes with the block? About three years now. About four? Three. And before that? Wow. Before that, it was TurboTax. Don't you know that TurboTax is not the authorized size to file your tax? Well, if that's the case, if then they need to be sued have... for, for false advertisement then. Sorry. I don't know why the miscalculations occur. Because, firstly, you are filing your taxes with the help of TurboTax, and the IRS never suggests you to file your taxes with the help of TurboTax. As this is not the government authorized site, and also the U.S. government never suggests you to file your taxes with the help of TurboTax. And the IRS never, ever suggests you to file your tax with the help of TurboTax. Well, the next thing is you're filing your tax. Listen to me first. And the next thing is you are filing your taxes now with the help of HNR Block. We don't know what when you did mistake, whether with the HNR Block did mistake or whether you did mistake. Apparently HNR Block, but uh, here's the thing with TurboTax, though. People have been filing Turbo ta with TurboTax for years, and the IRS has never came after them. Who said you? You know I'm working here for past five years and I have found many cases like this. The person who are filing the cases with the help of TurboTax, they had to face many legal consequences in their lives because this is not the authorized site from the government. And it has many errors in itself. Okay, if you say and so yourself. How can you pay the tax with the help of the TurboTax? I don't know. Just tell me Without how much I owe. Without the government uh, authorization. That, that's the only reason I called is to see how much I owe. Let me tell you, the IRS has conducted this statutory audit, and that audit, our CPA had found many types of errors in your tax paper. And that was from the year 2012 to 2016. And the IRS has this strong evidence against you. And on the basis of those evidence, IRS thinks that you are trying to defraud the IRS by not filing the exact amount of taxes. Is this true? No, never. So do you accept that this is an honest mistake from your side? Yeah. So listen to listen one thing very carefully. Right now, your IRS warrant is on activation mode because of the evidences that the IRS has discovered from your tax papers. Uh-huh. And you just have 45 minutes to cancel your IRS warrant. But more thing, I would like to inform you that this is a federal recorded call and a three-way conference call with Homeland Security. One of the local sheriffs is also engaged with both of us in this call. So whatever you speak or comment must be truth and honest. All right, if you say so. And, and you cannot disclose any type of information to any third party until and unless your arrest warrant is not cancelled. And if found doing so, it would be considered that again you are trying to run from the situation and you are trying to defraud the IRS. Alright. So keep one thing in mind, you cannot disconnect this call, you cannot put it on hold or mute because I need to record each and every word of our conversation because I need to serve this Recording in front of the bar council of your state to prove you innocent or guilty. Okay. So these are the protocols which you need to follow during this call. And as soon as I hung up this call or disconnect this call, I will proceed with the legal procedure by sending my officers at your doorstep. And right now they are facing your location only. All right. Because this is a case of tax evasion for defrauding the IRS. Okay. In the eyes of law for defrauding IRS. So now you tell me what do you want to do? Do you want to cancel your IRS warrant? Or you want me to proceed with the legal procedures by sending my officers at your doorstep with all those evidences? And they'll arrest you on the basis of those evidences. Well, I don't want to go to the courthouse, so... I guess we'll just 
do whatever it needs to do to get the arrest warrant canceled. So do you want to cancel your arrest warrant? Yeah. So let me inform you that there were many miscalculations and the amount which you underpaid to the government was $4,469 from the year 2012 to 2016. 400, 4,000 what? $4,469. Damn. This is the amount or the calculation of five years of the court audit. Okay. I didn't realize that I owed that so, that so much. This is because you were filing your taxes some sometime with the TurboTax than with the HNR block. Well, TurboTax needs to be no sued for false advertisement. Were, and there was sorry. I said TurboTax needs to be sued for a false advertisement, then. Now, I cannot provide you any information because I think how much information I need to give, I had already given you related to this case. Now, this is the last and final chance to say something about this case. So, just tell me what do you want to do about this case on this recorded line. Just tell me your clear intention. Take care of the arrest warrant. The no. Uh, you want uh, to take care of your arrest warrant? Yeah. I done said that twice already. Okay, so if you are saying that this was not a mis mistake from your side, then definitely if this mistake was done from the HNR blog, then the case will be go directly upon the HNR blog as soon as you cancel up the arrest warrant. Okay, well, tell me how in the world and am I going to pay this for? How am I going to pay this for grand so, to you? So you just stay on the line if you want, and simply I will transfer this call to one of the attorney journal, and I'm not because I'm not the authorized person to cancel your arrest warrant. He will be telling you each and everything about the cancellation of arrest warrant. All right. So just stay on the line. Your call is being transferred. Okay. Sir, sir. Y'all can hear that she actually transferred from to the end of the month. Wait, skip it. Act does confirm it. I guess. We don't understand the hell you said. Speak English. Uh, hello? Yes, your call has been transferred to one of the attorneys. My name is John Parker. How are you doing today? Doing good until I got this call. Uh, may I know to whom I'm talking with? Derek Blanchard. Okay, Miss Derek, do you understand each and everything what the officer have you explained? Yep. And let me tell you one more thing. On the land which you are talking from me has been recorded and monitored by the IRS headquarters, okay? Okay. So whatever you say or whatever you commit must be truth and honest, okay? Okay. Because I have to show this recording in the front of bar counselor of your state to prove you innocent or guilty in of your favor. Okay. And may I know you have the whole amount which you owe to the government? It's $4,469. Yep. In which form? In the cash or in the bank? Cash. Go hard cash. I hate banks. Shall we? I hate putting money in the bank. So I don't deal with banks. So I keep it whole hard cash. You have cash. Hold the amount. The whole enchilada, baby. I'm asking you have lots of money cash with you. Yeah. More than four thousand dollars. Yeah, more than four thousand. Okay, you have forty four thousand dollar cash with you. Actually I got about five grand. I got five grand in my in my hand right and I hang up on you. Damn, I told him I had five grand and he just only wants the forty fourth hundred.
Next time you say, oh, I got five grand, that's it. Just tell them that's our vacation money. No. Just say it's my wife. No, can't say that. <laughs> they're going to take it. They're going to they're gonna flag you for that. Say just say the five grand was our vacation Damn. money. Sure, call me how to feel. Uh, yeah, um... I was just disconnected to whoever I was talking to, and I was getting ready to get information on how to pay my arrest warrant when I told the guy I actually had more than what he said I owed. That's why I'm asking that you have the full amount paid to the IRS at quarter, which is $4,469. Yes, and I told you I had more than that. Then you can take the whole amount in your asshole. Well, you listen here, you dumb fuck. Why the hell would you call a 13-year-old child, you son of a bitch? You know, that's really what fucked fuck up. That's really fucked up that you call a 13-year-old cell phone, you fuck. Alright. Full abuse mode on this motherfucker. Well, tone it down a little bit. Because mama, I'm going to get jump all over you. <laughs> I'm putting... On my channel. Calling in Tenor Revenue Service, how may I help you? That's the same broad. Hey, you dumb broad. How's it feel to call a 13 year old and try to scam a 13 year old? They don't even have any fucking money, you dumb bitch. Oh, now they hate. Yes, he did. They did call a 13 year old kid that's like. Yeah, and to all my subscribers, let it be known that they called my 13-year-old cousin. And believe me, this is personal. Sorry for the yelling and screaming, folks, but believe me. I'll, I'll just... Internal Revenue Service. Hey, yeah, you I'll... dumb asshole! How's it feel to scam a 13 year old child? Alright, just, uh, just shut up, them. How you You dumb me? fuck! You called a 13 year old child, you son of a bitch! Then you got baited by me! You motherfucker! Okay, tone it down. Mm. Yeah, they don't care they baited anybody. They don't care how... Yeah, they don't are. give a shit. They call a 13-year-old child. They don't care how old you are. You seven, eight years old. They still call you drinking. And I'm sorry to my subscribers for letting you all hear this shit. Okay, just, just be nice to them. Well, they ain't gonna pick up because they know they're in the wrong. And they try to be a good day. Tell me you're going to the goat house. Failure code. I think I shut them down, folks. Okay. I guess they can't handle the truth. Scamming, a, trying to scam a thirteen-year-old. You said three or four times. That's before it came personal. Last time. This is the last video. <laughs> Shut them down. I'm not for sure yet. Let me uh, let me change the number and then. They don't care to call a kid that is under 18, or they call it for a dog or a cat. Mm -hmm. There was a video of uh, a woman getting an RS call for. A oh, believe me, yes, they, they my, my wife's a, right. They do call for a pet. When they're actually looking for somebody, they're actually looking for for a pet or something. Okay. I tell you, scammers are most ruthless individuals I know. I have a profound hate for them. Uh, 
on the mail. Hey, you dumb fuck. How does it feel to scam a 13-year-old? How does it feel to call a 13-year-old cell phone and have them scared shitless? Oh, they can't handle it first. Okay. Okay. Final time. Final time. Really? Play nice this time. Be nice. Just tell him that your name is Grandpa McFadden. No, Sally McWalk. Oh, they ain't gonna pick up. Take your code. They blocked this number too. Okay. How it is? We get hundreds of numbers, and they we get thousands of numbers from findwhocausyou.com, dot com, and I'll put that. I'll put that. Um. Link in the description, folks. If anybody all of y'all want to start scam baiting, I'm, I'm telling you, these assholes have no remorse for calling anybody. But it goes low down when it involves a 13 year old child. Believe me, it is. I really, th I really think I shut this number down, folks, because I've been changed the number for a third time. Thank you so much for your service, Tom. Yeah. Hey, how does it feel to scam a 13-year-old and call a 13-year-old cell phone and have them scared crapless? Oh, they hang up. And... Attitude. They hang up as usual. Are well, uh, you banjo? Okay. I haven't used any Hindu swears. <laughs> Definitely gonna call them every Hindi word in the book. Cause this was a last time I'm gonna harass them tonight. And bear in mind, I'm gonna use one of my old numbers as the number spiff that I can still remember, ironically. Next one that answers, Terry Mwaka Chute, Mother Chod. And then I'll be done. <laughs> I hope everybody's liking this video so far. Are you on the last room? No. Oh, I was about to say. I don't even know how to live stream from the tablet. Well, I guess I guess I won't be making that final call because Fire RTC just went down again. So I'm gonna end it here. Remember, I will put the link to the bad num the find who calls you dot com in this as soon as I can get it edited. I gotta move it over to the PS3 where I can do my editing because I have some parts that I definitely want to take out of this. Um. If you'd like the video, or like to me raging, matter of fact, because, um, it's, it's sort of like a metal condition that I suffer from, uh, I won't go into much detail, but it, it causes me to lose my temper very fast. 
most of y'all probably already know because I've already spilt it on a live stream in the chat. So most of y'all might know what it's about. But fueled with having the, the IRS scammers call my 13-year-old cousin, plus that rolls it in a nice big ball of anger and, you know. But, um, if you like the video, have if you like the bait that I gave until I did explode, give a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, beside the subscribe button, you also get, you got the little bell to notify any time that I upload a new video. By the way, it was me finally finding an editor. I'll end up having a title slide on my video soon, so you just won't see my face and then me telling you all this sort of crap before I start. Anyway, Drew8897, signing off.